What is up beauties? What is up troll art staff? My name of course is Brenzy and welcome to my 1v1 rage tutorial. Now some people in the comments like to think that I'm cheating, hacking, or modding the game in some way. No, 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 no. Troll art doesn't roll that way. It's just uh, modifying the settings in the private match, which is completely legal, to increase the rage of your opponent. Now first what you want to do is you want to go into private match. You would like to go to game setup. First you want to make join session in progress not allowed. You don't want your friends jumping in here ruining it for you. And then uh, what you're going to do, you're going to go to Maps, Dome, I like a smaller map, you know, not a lot of camping and moving around, uh, there's ways around getting rid of the camping, I'll show you that right now, but I like it to be Dome, it's a smaller map, not a lot of editing, of cutting out, you know, you running around and things like that, so uh, you want to go to Free For All, and then the Options, this is where it's very important, I switch it to 5 minutes, keep it short, uh, get them really mad, but uh, don't make an extremely long video, uh, you can if you want, but I like to keep it at 5 minutes. I'll uh, switch to uh, 1,000 points, which is 10 kills. Spectating, I disable that because sometimes I like to invite their friends in and you don't want to see them uh, up to the shenanigans that you're up to uh, making a worthy YouTube video. Uh, kill cam, I disable that. You don't want to give your opponent away what they're doing pretty soon. They're going to be like, oh, you know, they're pretty stupid, but they might say, oh, is this headshots only? So keep that a secret. Uh, radar always on. I always tell my opponent I'm putting this on just so he gets an idea that it's a legit 1v1 and be like, hey man, I don't want us camping. We're going to put radar always on. He's like, okay. Works good. So you want to keep that on. Uh, everything else, keep that the same. Uh, perks and proficien proficiencies, I can't say that word, proficiencies, uh, keep those enabled. Hardcore mode, you can put it on if you want. I haven't experimented with that yet. Third person will make them rage quit out right away. So keep that disabled. Headshots only enabled. That's where the magic happens right there. You enable those headshots only that will confuse your opponent make them rage pretty hard. Kill streaks, I disable them. You normally don't need to mess with them. Custom classes enabled. Uh, up here, number of lives unlimited, max health, health regeneration. You can do whatever you want with that. I keep mine normal. If you want to make it minuscule, sometimes if they would like a quick scope lobby, they want it on minuscule. So, you know, rub their ego a little bit and put it on minuscule. And so that's what you need. Once you have a raged opponent, I usually find them in... Um, Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch, you can really find them anywhere. 3v3 face-off playlist is a good place to find tryhards who would like to 1v1 you, and usually get them pretty mad. So right now we're going to take a look at step two, as you may have heard my Skype go off. Uh, we're going to look at the controller you want to use, so let's go check that out. The controller you want to use for your 1v1 rage reactions is the Scuff controller, one of my favorite controllers I've ever played with. I really can't go back to anything normal. Now we're going to go out in the other room and check out some of the features, the front, the back, what it does, how it can make your opponents rage, more than they would with a normal controller. And then we're going to take this bad boy, we're going to plug it into the Xbox. I invited my friend Tyler, or Deathly I am, to a 1v1, told him, bring it on, motherfucker, we're going to kick your ass. And uh, he likes to rage a lot, so uh, uh, we're going to see what happens with that, and then that'll be it, so let's go do this. One of the key steps in your 1v1 rage is going to be the controller you use. Now, what you're looking at here is my custom-made scuff controller. Now, at first I was skeptical, on this controller, but myself and Duncan, the CEO of Scuff, we had a long phone conversation about is this a modded controller? Is this cheating? And after playing with the controller, you know, Duncan said, you know, I'll send one out to you. You check it out, you let me know what you think. And uh, it is MLG approved, and after playing with it, it is most definitely Troll Arc approved. Now I'm going to move the camera slowly up here so you can see the front of it. As you can see, there is a PS3 analog stick on the right, helps you aim a little bit better. And then I prefer the Xbox 360 analog stick on the left, but uh, if you go to their site, you can choose if you want both 360 analog sticks or if you want the PS3 ones. Now, what is special about this controller and what will make your opponents rage even harder? That's located on the back. What you're looking at here is the trigger stop, one of my favorite features on this scuff controller. It is going to most definitely make your opponent rage more than you would with a normal controller, and this is why. I'm going to move my finger over here just a little bit and watch this. It stops right in the sweet spot where the weapon will fire, so you can just spam off that MK14 in your 1v1, get those headshots only. On the back of the controller you're going to see two bumpers. This is going to be extremely important in making your opponent rage even harder. Uh, one side here is for the jump and the other side is for the knife, so you never really have to take your thumbs off of the thumbsticks. So let's go see how much this makes Tyler rage. I'm guessing he's going to be pretty pissed off. Oh my god, are you fucking joking me right now? Fuck. Oh my god. Spraying away. Oh my god. Missile 
ready for launch. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! This game is such bullshit! Now you're teabagging me? Dude, you're garbage. Who do you think you are, huh? You aren't in phase? Get back here. What are you doing? Oh my god. I'm not even gonna know what's up about that. Oh, oh. Oh my god, dude. You're so bad! Oh, dude, you cheated. I'm such shit. Where'd you go, Tyler? You're bad. But thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed your stay. If you could, show that you're all support by leaving a like rating below. If you would like a scuff controller of your own, first link in the description below gives you a 5% discount code. Uh, they are very expensive controllers. It takes them about four days to make it. It's all handcrafted. If you would like a cheaper option, if you have a Xbox 360 controller or a PS3 controller, if you're a PlayStation user, they do scuff up PS3 controllers. You can actually send in the controller you already have, and they will scuff it up for you for a cheaper option of $44.95. So if you're interested in that, it's down below for you. But uh, you guys have a great Sunday. I'll see you next week. Bye. Stay beautiful, damn it. This is really how we live.